Prominent Tampa defense attorney Barry Cohen typically fights legal battles, but now he's taking on gun violence. It's been a year since a gunman opened fire on the FSU campus, and tonight Cohen talks with 10 News reporter Kendra Conlon about his solution to stop these senseless shootings. We see people taking people's lives like they step on a cockroach. Numbers show there were more mass killings than days in the first nine months of this year, from the South Carolina church shooting to the gunman opening fire at Umpqua Community College. Defense attorney Barry Cohen insists what many of these killers have in common, they're young men obsessed with guns, introverts with untreated mental health issues. It feels like he's got nothing to lose. Uh, because this whole society doesn't give a damn about him. Data shows from Columbine to Sandy Hook, the Colorado theater shooter to FSU gunman Myron May, they'd all been on some type of antidepressant. Psychiatry today has um, become a, a uh, pill-pushing event. Uh, there's no more talk therapy. Good boy. FSU student Ronnie Ahmed says it maybe could have made a difference in his life. May shot and paralyzed him after the FSU gunman told police he heard voices in his head. If he had, you know, people there to support him and help him through the, th that difficult time, you know, maybe, maybe I wouldn't have been injured. Cohen says it'll take lawmakers, psychiatrists, schools, the court system, and families working together to help detect and stop the shooters before they pull the trigger. And we put all the disciplines together and we can fix it. Why did you do it? In Tampa, Kendra Conlin, 10 News, WTSP. We'll have continuing coverage as tomorrow marks one year since the FSU shootings. Hear more from the victims impacted by the gunfire. And you can head to WTSP.com to read Cohen's blog about solving <laughs> the gun violence problems we're facing.